Good morning, my friends. Today is Monday, October 24th, 2022. It's Principal Slider here. We're gonna have a great Monday at John Adams and let's kick it off with great gathering. Okay, let's remind ourselves of our Capturing Kids Hearts words of the month, giving respect. When we give respect, we treat others with kindness and care. We accept somebody for who they are. We have new words of the week this week, and those words are respectful actions. When we show respectful actions, we smile and we use friendly body language when we talk to others. It's about body language. And so the examples that I want you to think about today is when you're talking to others, do you smile? Are you making eye contact? Are you using a friendly tone of voice? And are you remembering to do a handshake or a high five and not ignoring their handshake and high five? Remember, let's use respectful actions and nice body language. Okay, my friends, let's remind ourselves how we at John Adams excel with pride. Ready? Let's do it. We are John Adams. We excel with pride. E, engage. X, explore. C, communicate. E, empower. L, launch with pride. P, personal responsibility. R, respect. I, integrity. D, determination. E, excellence. Adams Wolf Pride. Good job, everyone. Okay, just reminding you that it is Red Ribbon Week. And on Red Ribbon Week, we celebrate life by living drug-free. Okay, so today's theme was to wear red. Did you remember to wear red? I hope so. Tomorrow's theme is to turn your back on drugs. And so tomorrow, wear your shirt backwards, okay? All right, so since it is Red Ribbon Week, I'd like to share with you a short video about the importance of making smart choices and being drug-free. Hey, Mindfulness Maya here. And Carlton. I can't believe it's already October. This month is very special to us because it's when a lot of schools celebrate Red Ribbon Week. Red Ribbon Week is a week that lots of schools use to teach students about how important it is to make healthy choices and to say no to drugs. We actually like to think of the Red and Red Ribbon Week as a word that stands for really excellent decisions. The theme usually changes every year. But one thing that always stays the same is that we remind each other to make really excellent decisions for ourselves. So we have some tips to help you make those really excellent decisions. Number one, be responsible. You can be responsible in lots of different ways, like cleaning up after yourself, doing your work for school on time, and being respectful to your teachers. These are just a few examples, but being responsible is something that you can do anytime, no matter how big or small the action is. Number two, make healthy choices. Taking care of your body and making sure you feel good and healthy is such a great way to take care of yourself. Try getting a good night's sleep, eating all the necessary food groups you have access to, and drinking enough water whenever you can. Even though there are lots of healthy choices that you can make, try doing these things as often as possible and making them a habit. And lastly, number three, when a friend or someone else tries to make you do something that you don't want to do, it's called peer pressure. Friends should be understanding and kind to you. So if they try to make you feel bad about not doing something, then they aren't really a good friend. Try to avoid people that do drugs or pressure you into doing them too. And always try to make the best and safest choices for yourself. All of these things can... Okay, friends. So what I love about this video is it gave us some good tips, but it turned the word red into making really excellent decisions. I like that. Make really good decisions for yourself. Let's live safe. Let's live healthy. Okay. Hey, Mindfulness Maya here. All right, we do have a birthday we are celebrating today. 
happy birthday to Jacoby Smith in Mr. Troutman's fifth grade class. Jacoby, have an excellent day. On Friday, my apologies, I didn't get to announce our spirit stick winners. So let's do that this morning. Okay, for the spirit stick winner in the primary classroom hallway, it's Mrs. Porter's class. For the fourth week in a row, they've had perfect participation with the spirit stick with 16 out of 16 friends wearing their shirts. Congratulations, Miss Porter's class. And winning the spirit stick in the intermediate hallway is Mrs. Troutman's class. They had 12 out of 13 students wear their shirts. So I'll be coming around presenting the spirit sticks and a treat for your classes. Congratulations. Okay, and my last announcement of the day is that parent conferences are this week. Students, check in with your parents. Have they signed up for a conference? If not, please remind them that your teacher would like to meet with them, okay? All right, that's it for great gathering. Let's make it a great day at John Adams. I'll see you around the building. Bye-bye.